Hi. So let's start in a seated position and we'll just start with some lateral stretches. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, left uh, right hand to the mat and you lean on over to the right side. And grounding down through your left hip. Breathing in to your side body here. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, left hand to the mat. And go ahead and stretch on over to the left. Grounding down through your right hip. Come back to center and bring your legs out in front of you. Toes are flexed towards your face. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold over your legs any amount. And if you'd like to release your low back more, you can keep your knees deeply bent. And if you want more of a hamstring stretch, go ahead and Try to straighten out your knees. And inhale. And with every exhale, fold deeper. And if you're, you can, you can keep your hands palm down like I am, or you can bring them palm face up. Go ahead and walk yourself up and bring your left sole of your foot to the inside of your right thigh. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Again, fold any amount. And flex your right foot towards your face. Shoulders away from your ears. And walk yourself up. And we'll switch sides. Actually, let's bring your sole of your left foot to the outside of your right thigh. And inhale, reach your right arm tall. Exhale to twist to your left, hugging your left knee into your chest. And again, if you prefer to bring your elbow to the outside of your knee, that's okay too. And reach your crown tall on an inhale and then exhale to twist. The gaze can be out or you can close your eyes. Release that and we'll do the other side. Straighten out your left leg. Bend your um, right sole of your foot into your uh, left inner thigh. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold over your left leg. Again, palms can be down or you can grab your foot. Your palms can be face up. Just seeing what your body needs today. And walk yourself up, right knee into chest, bring the left foot to the outside of your uh, left thigh, inhale, reach your left arm up towards the sky and twist over to your right, hugging your knee into your chest. Inhale, reach your crown of your head tall. Exhale to twist.
Go ahead and release that. And we'll start to take it to the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up parallel to the mat. As you exhale to roll down with control, one vertebrae at a time. Go ahead and keep, keep your knees bent and right ankle goes over the left thigh. And if you feel the stretch in the outer hip, you can stop here. If you want to go further, you can thread your hands through, grab the back of your left thigh and your, your right knee away from you. And keep your right foot flexed. And start to close your eyes here. And I actually encourage you to do most of your yoga asana practices with your eyes closed. Um, or just a soft gaze just so you can really tune into your body. Let's release that and we'll switch sides. Left ankle over your right thigh, thread your hands through, grabbing the back of your thigh. And again, left knee yearns away from you and your left foot is flexed while you're bending your elbows pulling in your right thigh. Go ahead and release that. And Extend your left leg out and hug your right knee into your chest and right knee goes across your body for a recline twist and left arm can go into a diagonal V and you can just kind of wave your hands down and maybe you find a sweet spot and you want to stay there in stillness, or you can just make some micro waves or micro movements to just really stay in that sweet spot. Come through center, release your right leg, hug your left knee into your chest, and twist it over to your right side. And again, left hand, left arm is going to be. And go ahead and make some nice smell angels. This is Mr. Troubles. Hey, Troubles. And again, finding that sweet spot. And go ahead and release that come through center and if you're doing this um, in bed or if you have a wall you can come to your wall bring your right hip all the way to the wall and then walk your legs up four legs up the wall if you don't have a wall near you you can always just do legs up the wall without without the wall but if you have a wall which i do today you can bring your legs up and just be here for our final pose before shavasana and 
if you have a strap and you're you want to just totally release you can actually put that around your thigh so that your legs are held up in this way and I think I'm gonna stay here in Shavasana but if you'd like to come down go ahead and do that too and we'll be here for 10 breaths and I encourage you to stay here longer Go ahead and deepen your breath. Make wiggles with your toes and your fingers. Maybe circles with your wrists and your ankles. And go ahead and bend one knee into your chest and then the other. And roll on over to any side. And go ahead and walk yourself up to a seat or you can stay and mix up the wall for as long as you'd like. Hands can be in prayer. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.